Hi guys, <clears throat> in this video we're going to deal with two keywords in C, basically break and continue. Now uh, let's modify the program slightly. Let's turn our while loop into an infinite loop. Uh, one way to turn any loop or any while loop into an infinite loop is basically input a value which is always true. So for instance, um, just type in any number. Now we know it is always true. One is always, you know, true or you know it's, it's not zero so it is so that's an infinite loop now now we have here an infinite loop and but still we need a way to get out of the loop you know we don't want it to go infinitely uh, now one way is to use the break statement what break does break exits the loop whenever you want to exit it so we in this in our case we need to exit once the user inputs minus one so the, the user inputs his age over here and now obviously we need to build some condition where if he input minus one we get out of the loop so here we go and say if um, user age is equal to minus one what happens then well then we break that means that once minus one is input we exit the loop completely now Continue, on the other hand, does a similar thing, except you exit the current iteration. You don't exit the loop completely. You don't exit the loop completely, but just the current iteration. So let's say if somebody inputs some nonsense age. So if let's say user age is uh, bigger than I don't know what 150. I don't know anybody surviving up to 150 then continue that means this cannot be true if you've input some nonsense in there you know if you input like 238 nobody's that old so uh, there you get a chance to input the age again you don't exit completely out of the loop but you, you get a chance to exit and then you get the others now one way of doing it uh, doing those multiple ifs you can use else if so if user age smaller than thing you, you break else if uh, you're bigger than 150 you continue else if uh, you're bigger or equal to 18 we have the same old string as before and otherwise you're a minor so this is basically uh, a way of uh, you know converting that program in this case we're using uh, both uh, sorry uh, you're using both um, break to exit the loop uh, completely and continue just to exit the current iteration right uh, let's just compile our program and test it oops and let's call it um, I don't know like uh, BC for um, break continue and the source is break continue dot C right and what is this right okay so it's it's done so now let's call it and here we are now enter the program and now we we have multiple uh, ways of inputting age let's put a legitimate age let's say 13 and okay i'm a minor let's put 49 i'm an adult let's put uh, i don't know 248 well you see now that's what continue does i exited the 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 one iteration i have now in a new iteration input your age let's say um, 149 I'm a legitimate uh, age and if I put minus one now the break statement will take uh, will take effect and I'm exiting the loop completely and I just exited the whole program so you see here the difference between both of these I would not advise you to build a program like this with a with an infinite loop nevertheless you can now see the effect of both of these break takes you completely out of the loop whereas continue just takes you out of the current iteration sometimes things happen and you have to build in a condition for that and basically continue allows you allows you to repeat the uh, to to get out of this current iteration and repeat another iteration whereas break takes you completely out and you saw also uh, the way to build multiple conditions uh, instead of just if else you can have you know a multitude of else ifs 
although it's not the best way of doing things, but still it is one way of covering multiple conditions.